Well, here's the cake uh, with uh, a plate underneath it. Uh, this is the plate we're going to use to finish it off. But right now, I just wanted to take it off and set it somewhere balanced so that it can cool. So I've got this bowl here. I'm just going to set it right on top. And this has to cool pretty thoroughly. Uh, one of the biggest concerns with this cake is putting the topping on while both the cake and the topping are too hot because then it can turn into more like a paste. It'll, it'll get hard and, uh, you know, it won't taste as good. So uh, you do want to let it sit and cool for quite a while. Um, and then uh, go ahead and put the topping on when that's ready. Okay, right now our cake is uh, pretty well cooled around the outside, but it has to cool um, around the bottom. It's a little bit... Uh, a little bit hot right now, so I'm going to take it out of the, the tin here. It's going to take me a minute. I'm going to have to actually set this camera down. Just a moment. Well, the cake itself is pretty well cool around the edges, but I need to take it out of the spring form pan so that the bottom cools off completely, because the bottom itself is actually going to end up being the top. So, let's see if I can pop this off. See how nice and golden brown it is around there? And what I'll do is I'll take the plate, flip it over, put it right on top, and just grab it real quick and flip it. Just like that. And then this should come right off. Just like that. Perfect. Alright. Now, We'll let it cool the rest of the way, and then I have to slice it. You basically cut it about halfway deep uh, with a knife in the size pieces that you want um, before you put the topping on, because once you put the topping on, you don't want the topping to spill over the sides. You want it to seep into the cracks. So uh, I'll do that in a few minutes. Okay, now the cake is pretty well cooled down. So I'm going to take a sharp knife and uh, very gently, with a light pressure, start in on one end and cut across, very gently pushing down so that you don't really break up the cake at all. all right. And you want to kind of make uh, pretty small pieces. This is a rich cake. so. Go easy on the size. It's not meant to be a uh, uh, fill you up kind of a dessert. That's uh, that's actually how a lot of traditional Greek desserts are. It's not really meant to fill you up. It's more to just give you a, a good taste of something that is decadent. Um, another reason to let it cool is, as you can see while I'm cutting here, the cake is shifting back and forth. If it was uh, any warmer, uh, it would break apart pretty easy. You want to use a knife that is uh, not serrated, uh, because that can also tear at the sides and pull the cake apart. So, And you can see that uh, the cake is being cut pretty nicely here. Small pieces, like I said. So we've had this cake quite a number of times in our house, and I've also served it to many friends. Um, <coughs> at dinner parties and such, and that everyone loves it. So uh, you can also make the cake with uh, oranges, and if you want, you can do spiced rum. And Okay, one of the things I'm doing now is I'm cutting the cake into a diamond pattern. Um, when you present it after cutting each piece, it, uh, it looks pretty good. 
gentle pressure, continual, all the way through. This is how you want every piece to be. So, well, I'll finish up this, and then I will go ahead and get the uh, topping on it, and I'll invite you to continue watching and see how that goes. Something else I thought I would mention, um, if you notice, I got the cake completely sliced. The knife is clean. Um, you should never have anything sticking on the knife if the cake is done well enough um, and it's, uh, it has the right amount of moisture in it. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the key things. The, the knife should come out clean. So, I'm going to go get the topping and... Uh, start topping the cake. We'll be right back. Okay, we have our cake, which has been cooled, and our sauce, which has been heated and then also cooled slightly. It's not completely cooled, but you can see how it coats the spoon pretty well. Uh, that's the consistency you want uh, when you put it on the top of the cake here. So. Actually, I should let you know that uh, last time I was working on the sauce, uh, I put it in the uh, refrigerator for a moment, and uh, it cooled down, but then I had to reheat it because it just wasn't the right consistency yet. So you really do want to heat it and then cool it slightly so that it gets to the right, right uh, thickness before you put it on the cake. And uh, what you do is you spoon it on and you let it seep in. Uh, you don't pour it on uh, directly from the pot because you want to have a bit more control about how the coating is. And this, uh, this sauce, I was mentioning a little bit more how it was different than uh, the original sauce in the cookbook. Um, <coughs> I did actually use a full half a cup of lemon juice. Um, the book actually calls for a quarter cup of lemon juice and a quarter cup of water. Um, but I just like the, the intense flavor of having all the lemon. And you can see how the juice is actually soaking into the cake just as I pour it right on. It's uh, going down into the crevices between the pieces. And you want to coat the whole whole cake and then uh, if you have more, um, coat it again. It'll just make it that much more tasty. So, and this sauce is uh, just overly intense. Uh, if you like lemons at all, uh, even if you don't like lemons, um, this, uh, this sauce might <laughs> actually change your mind. Um, <coughs> It's quite good. This is probably about the eighth or tenth time I've made this cake uh, since I since I knew about the recipe. Actually, I've only had the book for uh, maybe two years, so five times a year. But I also do lots of other stuff. So here we go. Just little drizzles. All right, and there we have our yogurt lemon cake with a lemon and ouzo honey topping. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed listening to me and watching the cake being made. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. We're finished now. Just wanted to show you our lemon cake. And the uh, best way to have it is with, of course, a a small glass of ouzo. So, enjoy! I hope you enjoyed this uh, little demonstration. Opa!